Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to slice it up. If you have a bread knife and it's serrated, they also come non-serrated, you want to either have a angle towards you or away from you versus right at the very top because if you put pressure at the top of the loaf, you could end up just crushing it straight down. So again, you either want this angle or this angle to get your slice. So let's do it. So I'm just going to go towards me, start to level off, go away from me, and then level off again. And then that last bottom crust, you just put a little bit of pressure, boom, you're done, there's your slice. Now, what if you don't have that? At the farmer's market, I used to actually use a boning knife. So just like a chef's knife, which would be this guy, right? You want to stab straight in, then do a rocking motion up and down, and then finish it off by cutting that very bottom crust. Again, stab straight down, up and down rocking motion, and there you have your slice, okay? The boning knife works a lot better for smaller loaves. The bigger loaf like this, I would use a chef's knife and chances are you already have this in your kitchen. Now let's try it with the chef's knife. Again, you wanna gauge your thickness and go straight down and in. And then rocking motions up and down, supporting the bread with your other hand so it doesn't collapse on you or move on you. Flipping it, again, step down, up and down rocking motions. And then finally, that last cut of the bottom crust that's typically firmer, and there's your slice. And finally, my favorite, which is my go-to every morning, is a professional bread slicer. Boom, with some butter, you're good to go. Thanks for watching.